Hey YouTube land world. Good morning. It is a beautiful Friday. First I'm gonna go grab some lunch with um, Mr. Brittany Gray. <laughs> Future Mr. Brittany Gray and then I'm gonna go work. Um, so yeah on my last vlog I asked you guys if you guys mind the vlogs and you were like nah girl. With this salon, it's like sometimes it's like super, super busy and then sometimes it's slower. And on those slower weeks, I like to, I'm like, okay, cool. This is my time where I can be creative and do my videos and stuff like that. And then, um, but if I'm like working, working, working during the week, it's very hard to film a tutorial. And as you guys know, it takes a lot of planning, lighting, filming, a lot. like tutorials just take a lot. Whereas if I'm doing this, I can just put on my camera and go. Are you filming? Damn, girl. Coming up behind me fast. Or guy, whatever you are. Oh, let me, let me do this. Because I'm so used to like pulling this thing down and not driving like that because I don't want to pull my hair, but ponytail today. So what I was saying, hmm. okay. So, okay, this is what I wanted to talk about you guys. Uh, um, and it has to do with like my vlog stuff. Um, I seriously feel like vlogging is good because it does help me to keep to maintain a relationship with you guys when I um, am working in my real life because as you guys know YouTube is not my career okay even I mean don't get it twisted I plan on taking this channel to the top um, but I don't ever see myself not doing hair at all. I mean, maybe not as much as I do now because I'll be able to not um, have to like work the long hours that I do work when I do work in the salon. <sighs> but um, I want to do hair forever, I think, um, until my body like is like, no girl, you need to stop. <laughs> yeah, I feel like vlogging is important because it helps me to maintain a relationship with my subscribers who are my friends in my head actually it's weird because like I don't feel like you're my friends in my head because like you're actual people and I'm an actual person and um yeah anyway you guys so as my friends <laughs> as my internet friends I did want to let you guys know that I just I booked a venue for my wedding and yeah I'm really excited I'm getting married next July next summer so that means I have less than a year to plan <laughs> I don't want to look back at this time in a couple years and think like, oh, why didn't you enjoy it as much? But seriously, planning a wedding is so freaking stress stressful. Like, I heard that it was, but now that I'm actually doing it, I'm like, damn, this is like really stressful. <laughs> Only because the way that my brain is, like, I'm very creative and I have a vision, but it's hard for me to put that vision into like, you know, to break down the logistics of that vision. Um, but thankfully I have my mom because she's very, she's super like organized, business oriented. She has like a binder with files in it and staples and highlights and all this stuff. And I'm like, you got me girl. Um, yeah, so I booked a venue. So that is taken care of. And that's very exciting for me because as you know, if you're a bride or whatever, um, having a place to have the wedding is like half of the battle <laughs> you feel me so um yeah just a few details on that the ceremony and the reception are going to be at the same place the ceremony is going to be outdoors the reception is going to be indoors oh it's open bar all night long and i'm so excited even though i i don't plan on like drinking like that because I don't want to get drunk on my wedding day. Um, but for my friends, see, like, I wish I was going to be a guest at my wedding because if I was a guest at my wedding, okay, so we're going to have an open bar. We're going to have a buffet style um, buffet and um, we're going to have a dessert bar. But basically, I would want to be a guest at my wedding. That's basically it. Like, I just want everybody to have fun, including myself. I told my mom because my mom's like don't worry I'm gonna have everybody in check and I'm like good because I do not want to I mean I, I know okay I know I probably sound like a, 
at Bridezilla or a B I T C H <clears throat> at times on this channel. Sometimes I worry and I'm like, oh, should I edit that out? I kind of seem like I have an attitude or whatever. But at the end of the day, like I am a human being and like I'm keeping it real with you guys. Like this is my personality. Personality. <laughs> this is my personality. And um, I'm not, I'm honestly, seriously. For those of you who watch my videos who have come in to get your hair done or who have met me in person, like, I'm not even trying to brag or trying to point out good things about myself, but you know, like, I am not, I'm, I am not a freaking B-I-T-C-H. I do not think I'm better than anybody. I do not, like, I feel like, I can honestly say I'm a good person, even though, um, that sounds, like, cocky even saying that, and I feel guilty saying that, but at the same time, like, you know, I'm, like, no, like, not to sound cocky, but I'm freaking down to earth AF, okay? Um, but I feel like sometimes in my videos I come across as, like, cocky or bougie or, oh my gosh, if you're gonna make a right, then make a right. Like that, for instance, I need to stop doing stuff like that. <laughs> I would say that I'm just a strong personality. I'll just put it that way. And the reason I brought it up is because I told my mom, like, I seriously hope I don't have to freaking regulate on anyone. Like, I don't want to have to regulate on anyone on my freaking wedding day, you know? Because I get, um, I don't know. I just don't want to get to that point. You know what I mean? I don't want to get to that point with anybody. I haven't chosen my bridal party yet. Um, clients who have, who are married or are getting married, um, when they tell me about their bridesmaid stuff, I'm like, man, like, I hope I don't have to deal with it. I hope I like, I love all my friends. I love all my girls, but please don't give me any problems. Okay. If you're my friend watching this right now, don't give me any problems. Like, because for me as a bridesmaid, all I'm going to be like, what, okay, what, what do you want me to do? Where do you want me to go? What do I, what do you want me to wear? And okay, cool. That's it. Like, I, I just, it's just, maybe I'm, it's my anxiety just thinking about the whole thing, but Anyway, guys, um, I'm going to stop filming right now because I'm, I just need to stop. Mm -hmm. I'm showing the vibe. <laughs> okay, I want to get it on camera that you said that when or if. When I get to a million subscribers, you will not only do a video with me, but you'll do an entire series. Correct. I will do a, a series of videos when you get to a million, a million subscribers. Okay, what if it's half a million? Facts. I said a million. Oh, so it has to be a million and can't be half a million? It has to be one million subscribers or more, and I will do a series with you. I'm working on it. I'm on my way to my studio and I'm so full that I just want to take a nap. But you know what I did today? I woke up in the morning and I woke up early AF and then I was up for a couple hours and then I went back to sleep and I knew I'd regret that because like, I wonder what the science is behind that. I'm going to Google that because you know how you wake up and then, or else like maybe you sleep too much and then when you wake up, your body just feels like crap. That's how I feel today. I woke up super early, went back to sleep only for like an hour or something. Cause I was like, oh, I'm tired and whatever. And then I went to sleep for like an hour and I totally regret it now because I just feel so exhausted. So I wanted to show you a little OOTD. I just threw this cardigan on right now because I'm cold and I'm tired and I'm about to take a nap literally right now. But this is from um, Abercrombie & Fitch. Um, okay, these key sunglasses I mentioned in my last vlog and they're actually growing on me just because I feel like they're so cute. But again, I do feel like they're a little lightweight and cheap, but we'll see. I haven't had any problems with them yet, so I'm not trying to seem like a key hater, but they're really cute. They make me feel cool. Okay, um, wearing some ro rose gold hoops, rocking that engagement ring. <laughs> um, this is a t-shirt, actually it used to be my brother's, 
and I know it looks super small for a guy, right? But I actually stole it from him, like, maybe, I mean, it was years ago. I was probably, it was at least five years ago, but it's probably like seven to eight years ago. I stole it from him, and then I cut it and made it a crop top. I'm wearing some high-waisted black jeans that actually Fashion Nova sent to me. There we go. Fashion Nova sent me these high-waisted black bam and um, I'm wearing my platform Converse of course um, usually I wouldn't wear these to to work because um, I don't want to get hair or anything on them but um, I'm not doing color today I'm just doing haircuts so I mean I could get hair on them even though I don't really want to but if I was doing color then like I wouldn't do it at all Hey guys, it is like 9 o'clock at night, I think. Something like that. And I'm done here at the salon. And um, uh, yeah, I want to leave, but I have to use the bathroom. And like the cleaning ladies are cleaning the bathroom right now. So I'm being held hostage. So I've just been watching YouTube videos in the meantime while they clean. Yeah, it's like, could you guys hear? <gasps> Uh, I got my effing hair wet. Oh, hell nah. Oh, hell nah. That's what I get for almost talking S. Could you imagine if she saw me? She'd be like, um, do you need to use the bathroom? But I don't want to interrupt her job, her vibe, her, you know? Yeah, tell me. But for real though, <laughs> could you hurry up or not? Just kidding. So, um, hey guys. You guys want to know something sad? It's my first world problem of the day. Should I like start a series? Like, first world problems problem of the day because it's just like a daily thing my first world problem of the day is that I want to change my nails so I have been clearly it's time for a fill but um I have been getting this almond shape in my nails for I've been getting acrylic almond nails for since like January of this year and I think I'm over it and I noticed like today and I think yesterday I've been kind of looking at my nails sideways, like, mm, you're kind of getting on my nerves a little bit. And sometimes I notice that I never like scratch my clients, but lately I've been noticing that like if I grab their hair or something, I'll like poke them. And I don't like that. That makes me feel uncomfortable. Um, so yeah, I think I'm over the nails. And if I do decide to take them off, it smells good. I feel like it'll make me sad. Like, oh my gosh, I thought I was going to have almond nails forever. <laughs> I'm going to hope that they will be done within the next 60 seconds. And then I'm going to go home. Okay, let me show you, let me tell you guys about my wedding hair plan in the meantime. Hopefully all this dress, ouch. Let me, let me do a, a young, uh, a quick link check. So this is my hair length right now. It's like almost to my bra strap, right? And so I've been like trying to grow my hair out. Where's it go? Yeah, I've been trying to grow my hair out for, I mean, <laughs> my entire life. I'm just kidding. Like for the past e year or so, I've really focused on growing my hair out. And now that it's like getting long-ish, I'm kind of over it, you guys, to be honest. But I don't want to cut it before the wedding because I feel like I'll regret it. Like, I definitely don't want to have short hair at my wedding. I know you could always wear extensions, but I don't know. I feel like I just want to grow it. But I don't want to wear extensions. Ext extensions, like, annoy me. But, um, it's going to be shorter in the front. But, yeah, so this is how short I want to cut my hair. Because the other day, I was editing a video and then my bangs were like that and I was like, oh my gosh, how cute would that look if I had like a bob that was like 
this length. Wouldn't that be cute? Well, I already put some shape in the back, but look at that. Let me clip it up. Not the front to be a little bit longer, but. Oh my gosh, the car's down there probably looking at me like, what the hell? I think I heard someone honk. So yeah, I feel like this is totally like a look for like, I'm grown, I'm married, you know? <laughs> so I'm gonna leave my hair long for the wedding and then after I'm gonna be like, this is like gonna be my grown and sexy look. Um, I think the cleaning ladies are gone. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna walk downstairs now. Got my laundry, so I could do that tonight. And um, yeah.